Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. We can't leave Dudu in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Cheer up. We can manage this, I'm certain. Famous last words right there. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Alright. I figured I was getting into a uh, gonna go into a Siri flashback as soon as uh, the guy started looking through that window. So, all right. I'm assuming I gotta break in and steal the item, and then when I leave, it'll probably flash back the girl. All right, let's get our let's get our thievery on. Room on the top floor, one with the balcony. Okay. Balcony, balcony, balcony. Here we go. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'm guy on the left didn't see that really big ass window. Bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior. Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Wants to get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Alright. Looks like you're about to get messed up. Where's Ruvid's treasure? Alright, come on, man. Let's see what you got. Apparently not that much. <laughs> an eye for an eye. They're coming. Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! <laughs> that was nice. Even though I could have swore that guy was like a dwarf and the other guy was normal, normal height. Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have a... <laughs> well, I just tried to dash back and use, <laughs> use Axie. Um, I know gathering loot probably doesn't matter as Siri, but you know, old habits are hard to break. And how does he still have his clothes on if the other guy was dressed like him? Alright, let's get up out of here. Probably some more people downstairs. Yep, that's what I figured. Alright, let me keep the stairs to my back. That way I have a place to fall back to, need be. Because I can't let these guys surround me and I don't exactly have enough room to maneuver the way I want. But these guys aren't too strong. And she can't dodge and roll like Gerald can, so. Uh, let me see if I can dash. There we go. There we go. If I can dash behind him, maybe I can get behind him and hit him in the back. Can't dash into him. Oh, there we go. Oh crap! Thought I had one more swing on me. All right. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Head rolling down the stairs. Alright, we got more people? Uh, I should have stayed up there, got my health back. Alright. You coming up here, guy? Okay, three guys. Yeah, let me definitely keep the stairs right here. Try to use this. Okay, messed up my own plan. Did not mean to come all the way down here. Alright, at least there's a big open floor for me to dodge in now. I was going to use the stairs as like a kind of fatal funnel almost, but... Don't need to now, though. Had to be a shield guy, didn't it? I don't have any health items when, you know, when they make you play a Siri, but... That's where strategy comes into play. <laughs> loot, loot, loot. Alright, Mr. Door Guy, you have anything for me? Yes, you do. That's what happened. Tell you true. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Nah, I'm good. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, because she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Ah, oh, man. I want to do it myself. Just take all the fun out of the game. All right. Let me see if I can get this elven relic that uh, he had on the shelf. Oh, okay, guess I must have already put it in my inventory. Damn. Yeah, that's why I killed him, you know, because he didn't really, you know, fuck up Siri all that much. I mean, she attacked him, but, like, it's, you know, he, he didn't have to kill all those whores like that. You know, wh I mean, whores are people. They got names. I mean, just because somebody's into selling their body, you know, as a job, I mean, it is what it is. They people. They're not things. All right, let me get up out of here. And let me also save my game, too. Why not? Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. Mm. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore, once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. Alright, since I have a feeling this is going to lead into a new quest here, um... A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. Alright, let me let him walk down there. Alright, guys. <clears throat> I'm on call this because I'm I have I have a feeling this is gonna take me into a whole other quest line, so let me know how you guys are liking the video if anybody is actually still watching this series. <laughs> uh, but as always, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to talk about anything about the game, about anything I've said, or just about Witcher in general. You know, like you know what I'm saying? I, I'm a recently new fan to the books. I've read two of them, working on the third, but um, would love to discuss anything about that. But anyway, my name is Dananu, and I'll see you guys in the next Witcher video. Peace out.